We're home. We made it home, you guys. So, looks like Taylor did not keep up with his part of the deal while we were gone. But, you know, he's a teenage boy. So I'm going to get these dogs some food. And uh, we're here. We made it home. I am watering all the plants and stuff like that. So we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Sorry, <laughs> Jimly. Um, did not film anything else. The long drive killed me. Like normally it takes it's usually not a very long drive. It's usually a pretty quick drive. But we ended up where there was a big accident on the road, so that slowed everybody down. Um which actually we were actually at a standstill for a while. And then as you guys saw in the beginning clip, there was like this big heavy mist or fog or whatever you want to call it that came up over Cajon Pass and we were literally stuck in that for a while. Uh, it was terrifying, needless to say, terrifying driving through because the cars were like disappearing in front of us. So you couldn't see anything. And then there was a second accident um, when we got onto the 40. Uh, a car went like, there's two separate sides, you know, for the freeway. And there's a guardrail on one side to protect you from going off and into the ditch or ravine or whatever you want to call it between the two lanes. But there's nothing on the other side of the road, which is stupid because it's a cliff right there. Like there's this, this drop off and a car went off that drop off. So they had everybody stopped while they pulled that car out with a tow, like a big towing truck, um, came and pulled that car out of the, like off of the side of that cliff um, face, which is super super steep. Um, we of course didn't know if there, anybody was like if anybody died or anything. They didn't. We didn't see any of that. They was they had already cleared the scene of the victim and stuff like that that was in the vehicle or the driver of the car. I should say I wouldn't say victim because it wasn't like it was a crime. It was just somebody lost control of their vehicle on a big wide turn and went off the road. Um, very scary. And so we were on the road for six hours versus a uh, three and a half, almost four hour drive. It's pretty close to four hour drive. It's like three hours and 45 minute drive. But we were on the road for over six hours. So I'm going to wrap this up, you guys. Sarah and I had an amazing trip. We had an amazing day at Knott's Ferry Farm yesterday. And uh, you all have been amazing. Thank you all for being patient as we got those videos up for you. And we'll see you in the next vlog. If you liked today's video, give it that thumbs up. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.